Welcome to another personal training tutorial for you from aotraining.net. Well, welcome to our first tutorial on the use of Microsoft Excel. Just what is Microsoft Excel? Well, Microsoft Excel is a fantastic tool for the an analysis of data. That's what it's made for, for analyzing data. Now, I'm going to show you a little bit about it in this tutorial, just a brief overview. This is a workbook. Here it's called Workbook 1. You see it up here in our title bar. That's because this is an unsaved workbook, Workbook 1. It consists by default of three worksheets, Worksheet 1, Worksheet 2, and Worksheet 3, which you can name to suit yourself. It has cells that contain data, or text, or formulas. It has columns, and it has rows. In fact, it has some 256 columns, and yes, it has 65,536 rows. Now, if you multiply those two figures together, you get 16,777,216. So every worksheet contains nearly 17 million cells for the analysis of data. You can have hundreds of worksheets. Well, many anyway. I wouldn't suggest you put hundreds into one workbook. If you were, just to help you to understand, this worksheet has 17 million cells on it. If you were to go in and enter one in one second, one in another second, and put a piece of data into every cell, and you did that non-stop, one per second, it would take you 194 days, working day and night without a break, to fill one worksheet with one piece of data in each cell. Are you amazed by that? Well, I am. If you tried to print it out, it would take 36,000 sheets of paper, which if you're using 80 GSM paper, would be a stack of paper about two metres high. Now, you might say that's just a useless piece of information. It is, in a, in, in a sense, because we would never do anything like that. But now I'm going to tell you something. Do you know how long it would take Excel to enter data into all of those rows? Well, I'm going to show you how long it would take Excel to enter that into all of those rows. I'll click to select all of the rows, all 17 million rows, and I'll enter the figure 1 into our first cell, and by holding down the control key, I'll now push enter and see how long it will reduce our 194 days of work to. Watch. Isn't that brilliant? Yes, not even two seconds, I don't think it was. What a fantastic tool Microsoft Excel is. That just entered 17 million pieces of data sequentially into every cell by going down the rows, down the columns, back up and down, all the way through. Phenomenal. It is set up with its menu bar at the top. When you click on the menu bar, it will expand for you. Sometimes you'll see a little blue circle here. Just hold your, hover your mouse over that and it will fully expand if the menu bar is not expanded. You can customize your menu bar, go to view toolbars, down to the bottom, you can't see this on our screen, to customize. And here you can set the options, show standard formatting toolbars and key rows. I'd suggest you click that and always show full menu. And then you can select any other toolbars that you want. But we will first start up, for starting with, we'll just have formatting and standard set up. So here's our formatting toolbar here, and here's our standard toolbar with a whole range of options that you can use. If you were to wanting to change any of this, you can go to any blank space up here on the menu bar and right click, and it will give you a full list of items that you can add from your toolbar. Um, to so for instance, if we wanted to control toolbox, just click that, and that now appears. If you want to dock that to make it a part of the docked menu at the bottom or the top, just lift it up and that automatically docked. If you want to pull something out and have it float while you're working with it, which you particularly uh, might want to do with the um, this uh, toolbar here, say for instance, our formatting toolbar, just pull it out and it will sit there for you and you can 
use it. And then when you're finished, put it back. If you want to get rid of that toolbar we just put in, just right click up here, the menu bar, and it's gone. Now we're going to be discussing a lot of features with regard to this. You can customize your toolbars. Up to the right here, it will allow you to put them into one row or two rows to add and remove buttons and so on. So that's just a brief overview of Microsoft Excel. It is designed to analyze data. It is designed to do that specifically. It will do it by means of charts. It will also keep account of your list. But may I please say before we continue, this is not a word processing program. If you wish to use Microsoft Excel as a word processing program or for um, um, designing information that would otherwise be used or should really be used by like something like InDesign or a drawing tool, um, please don't do it. It's not designed for that. You will come into trouble and uh, your users will have great difficulty understanding and coming to grips with your work. It is for data processing. It is so good at data processing that many uh, a time large databases will dump towards Excel or dump into Excel so that their data can be analysed very specifically and very quickly. So thank you very much for listening. This is Trevor from aotraining.net. It's, it's very easy to get excited as we deal with Microsoft Excel and I hope you feel a sense of excitement too as you start your journey into learning how to use this marvellous product.